pumping lemma for regular language see this pumping lemma for regular language defines a set of rules for how a regular language should be see lemma is a rule actually lemma is rule so this pumping lemma for regular language is used to, to prove that the language is not regular usually we will be using pumping lemma for regular language to prove whether any language is regular or not so it defines a set of rules for how a regular language should be suppose you have a regular language l then if you have a regular language then there will be a finite automata to accept that l now if n is the number of states in the finite automata in finite automata then if you select any string from the language whose length is greater than or equal to n if you are going to select any language any string from the language whose length is greater than or equal to n that x that string you have selected you can divide into strings u v w with the condition length of u v should be strictly i'm sorry should be e less than or equal to n length of u v should be less than or equal to n and length of v should be strictly greater than zero that is v cannot be epsilon v cannot be epsilon you have to consider some uh, symbols for v and there is no restriction given on w we have we don't have any restriction given on w and for all i greater than or equal to 0 see it's given that for all i greater than or equal to 0 if u v power m that is if this i number of times this v is pumped over the string u v w then it should belong to l so you are going to take a string from l whose length is greater than or equal to n and you are going to divide the strings into u v w with the condition with these two conditions and if you are going to take one value of i and you if that for for all values of i if this particular u v pumped i times w string belongs to l then we say l is regular now even if the definition is not clear if we go with one example then it will be very clear so let me explain this with an example so every time to prove so we'll be using this pumping lemma for regular language to prove that the language is regular or not now here we have given with the problem we have to show that l is equal to a power n b power n such that n greater than or equal to 1 is not regular they have given but we have rules for <clears throat> how a regular language should be so we will start with the assumption that we will start with the assumption that assume l is regular so if l is regular it should satisfy all these condition defined in the rule so we will select one x that belongs to l whose length is greater than or equal to n okay so let my x be a power n b power n so here the length of x is equal to 2n it is very well greater than or equal to n so i can select my x as this one so i'm going to select my x as a power n b power n next we need to divide this x into u v w with the condition that length of u v should be less than or equal to n and length of v should be strictly greater than 0. So how I am going to divide this? <coughs> Let. So x is equal to a power n b power n. My length of u v should be less than or equal to n. So let me select my u v to be a power n. There is no restriction given on w. So let me select my b power n as w. So u v is equal to a power n w is equal to b power n this condition is satisfied because the length of u v is equal to n now 
now we have to split this u and v with the condition that v should be strictly greater than 0 so let me select my a power n as n minus 3 and let my v be 3 is and by w b b power n so we have finished with the first two steps now we have to go with the third one for some i for all i it's given now i i am going to select i as sum 2 let me assume i is equal to 2 so for i is equal to 2 v u v power i w i have to check and if it is belongs belonging to l then i can say l is regular now what is u u is a power n minus 3 into a power 3 the whole power 2 into b power n so this is going to be a power n minus 3 plus 6 into b power n this is going to be a power n plus 3 into b power n see this does not belongs to the language because to be in this language i should have equal number of a's and equal number of b's so here i have some extra three a's so this does not belongs to l why our assumption is wrong there is a contradiction there is a contradiction in assumption contradiction is in assumption in our assumption so l is not regular l is not regular this is how we will be proving so we have to select a value of x from the language that whose length is greater than or equal to n and you have to divide the string into u v w with the this two condition and finally if you select a value you may climb here if i select the value of i to be one then it will belong to l yes right you may have a climb here if we are going to select the i value to be one then u v power i w will belong to l sure but what is the condition given at the last step three for all i for all i even for one i it fails then it's not going to be regular it's not going to be regular for all i values greater than or equal to zero this should hold true only then l is regular now let me take one more example show that l is equal to a power i square such that i greater than or 1 is regular so we have to select a string x from the language let it be a power n square so what is the length of x here it is n square it is greater than or equal to x so i have to divide this x into u v w next let my u v be a power n and w be a power n square minus n the remaining s i have to reduce from w now length of u v is equal to n no problem what about u similar to the previous example let me select a 3 s and w s a power n n square minus n now let my i is equal to so first thing what i have to do i am assuming l is regular okay only then i have to do all these things so i is equal to 2 if i take then u v power i w i have to check a power n minus 3 into a power 6 into a power n square minus n what is this one a power n square minus n plus n plus 3 so this is going to be a power n square plus 3 so this does not belongs to l so l is not regular 
L is not regular. Now in the next part of the video, we will see and uh, uh, try to solve two more problems and we will have a better clarity on this particular topic. So usually pumping lemma for regular language is a set of rule defined for how a regular language should be and it will be used for proving whether the language is regular or not. Thank you.